Hey guys, this video is all about how to grow the Galardia from the seeds. I would be also showing with the result at the end of the video and that's why please make sure to watch the full video. Galardia is a summer flowering plant in India and if you haven't grown it yet, please do because they just provide lots of colors in the summer season. I got the seeds online and you can buy it either online or offline as you like. Now let me also show you the seeds so that you know how they look. Next I am just going to sow them and you can follow me. To sow the seeds I am going to use a plastic container like this and definitely you can use the seedling tray if you like and if you use the seedling tray it would be much more easier to pull out the seedlings at the time of transplanting. But anyway it's okay if you use the pot similar to me. You can also see that my pot has lots of drainage holes so please make sure that your pot or even the seedling tray has the sufficient drainage holes and then keep some hard object on the drainage hole so that water can drain out well. I am just using some broken pieces of the clay pot. For the potting soil mix, I am taking 80% of cocoa peat and raised 20% of vermicompost. Please note that you can use only the cocoa peat but I would recommend you to add at least 15 to 20% of either vermicompost or even the compost cow dung powder. You can also see that my cocoa peat is somewhat wet and that's why the color of the cocoa peat is looking black instead of brown. And if possible please do the same thing and that way you don't have to worry about watering your seeds just after sowing them. Now I am just mixing both the components together and next I will be filling the pot. Now press the soil very gently with your hand or any other tool but please make sure not to press it too hard. We need to do this to get rid of the air pockets. Next, I am just going to pre-wet the soil a bit and I normally do this so that I don't need to water the seeds after sowing them. In my case, I really don't need to water the soil because I already said that my cocoa peat is already beet wet. But I am just showing you so that you know what to do in case you are using the dry cocoa peat. Next, I am just sowing the seeds. While sowing the seeds, if possible, please try to keep a gap in between two seeds. And that way, you will be able to pull out the seedlings very easily. Next, covering the seeds with a very thin layer of the same potting soil mix. Please note that just cover them, I mean, if the seeds are at least 3 to 5 mm deep inside the soil, that would be enough. Now spreading the soil properly and I am not at all pressing it at this time. Everything is done as you can see. Next I am going to keep the pot in a place where it will be getting the direct sunlight at least for few hours. Now please keep watching and I am going to show you what would happen next. After 7 days and you can see that most of the seeds have germinated but I hope that I am going to get better germination rate. Please keep the soil moist and at this stage if possible please use a sprayer to water the seedlings. After 25 days and you can see that my Galardia seedlings are ready to be transplanted. But honestly saying I am actually late and you can transplant the seedlings as soon as you see the first uh, 3 to 4 through leaves and that time you can simply pull out the seedlings and then transplant them in a bigger pot. Now I am just going to end the video right here because for this video my aim was to show you how you can sow the seeds and get the better germination rate. However, please also note that it totally depends on the quality of the seeds you are using. I am going to transplant most of the seedlings today and while transplanting it's really very easy. 
just pull out the seedlings from the pot and if the soil is hard just water it i mean give it little bit amount of water and then soil would become loose and that time you would be able to pull out the seedlings very easily as you can see i just pull out the seedlings and that's why it's a good idea if you can use a seedling tray that time you would be able to pull out the seedlings in a much uh, easier way so guys this is all about how you can grow the galadia from the seeds and i really hope you found the video useful but if you want to see what would happen next i mean how i am going to uh, grow these seedlings and and how i will be able to get lots of blooms on the seedlings then please subscribe to my channel if you haven't because i am going to do another video and in that video i am going to cover everything from this stage to until flowering if you have any questions please write down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible thank you very much for taking your valuable time to watch the video i really appreciate it and if you found the video useful please don't forget to like it share it and subscribe to my channel thank you once again have a great day